Hey, what's up, y'all? So we just had a basketball court installed, and throughout the process, I took a bunch of pictures and videos to share with you in case you just want to see the process or if you're interested in having a court installed and want to know what you can expect. Um, in 2018, we bought this house because it has a lot of yard space for the kids to play and stuff. Plus, it already had a concrete pad on it that we could use for basketball. This pad was just 15 by 25 feet, so not really big enough to do any real training on it. Uh, Press was still able to get shots up and work on ball handling. And as a fam family, we would get out there and play knockout or something. But I, I wanted Press to have um, an official court and more space to practice on before he got to high school. So I got this company called SNL Equipment to come and break up the old pad and haul it away first. Now, I had already been researching different outdoor floor companies, and I locked in on a company called FlexCore. Uh, this is a design I ordered, and I'll tell you more about the measurements later. So initially, our plan was to install the court foundation, the floor, and the goal ourselves. So now that the old pad was gone, uh, first press and I had to get out there and start checking the slope. We wanted the court to be flush with the ground as much as possible, so we had to excavate a lot of dirt. Now, I was amped. I was excited to do this whole project and teach Press some basic handyman stuff. However, after digging for two hours, we barely made a dent in what needed to be 8 to 15 inches deep throughout 1,200 square feet. So needless to say, uh, we needed some help here. So I got SNL to come out again and ex excavate the, uh, the dirt and, and haul away uh, all of it. So once they were done, I started piecing together a frame to hold my foundation. I leveled it and pinned down some geofabric to keep out grass and weeds. But again, I took a step back and it dawned on me that this project was gonna take forever. So I linked up with Juan over at Tiger's Concrete Company. They came out and said my frame was garbage and they dismantled it. Uh, they didn't even like my dirt, so they brought some. Then Juan and his colleague, uh, they got to work. Now, though we didn't build the foundation like we originally planned, I still felt accomplished. So I got Priscilla to come and write on the concrete. Here is the finished pad, 45 by 27 feet. I missed getting pictures, but Kalia and Carter and Priscilla installed the first few tiles. Uh, this was the part everybody was excited for. Uh, after that, once Press got started, he worked through the night to get the floor in because he was super excited. So now that the court was done, we still had to wait. Uh, so after learning my lesson, trying to replace 45 cubic yards of dirt with rocks and gravel, I decided to let a pro install the 745 pound. Here's the finished product of that. So this is the Mega Slam 72. You can Google it for details if you're interested. Okay, uh, one last thing, going back to the court dimensions. The free throw line is 17 feet from the baseline. The goal overhang is four feet. So it was installed two feet from the court. Uh, that gives the required 15 feet from the free throw line to the backboard. The three point line is six feet from the free throw line. Um, so that's how it was set up. Now, here's a list of all the companies we hired to get all this done and the names of the contacts that I dealt with. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Later.